Hola amigos, que tal? It's Jude here from Spain Speaks with another video. Today it is the 23rd of December and somebody in the comment section wrote that they would like to know what Christmas is like in Spain. So that's what I'll talk about today. Now the first thing I'm going to say is that Christmas in Spain is not all that dissimilar to Christmas in other European countries. People love to celebrate Christmas time. You see Christmas trees around, you see Christmas lights, people give each other gifts, and there is a festive spirit in Spain at this time of year. Now I'm here in Madrid. I'm in a town about 20 kilometers east of Madrid, and uh, that's what I'll base the talk about today regarding Christmas in Spain because Christmas in Spain could differ if you're in the north, it could differ if you're in the south, it could differ if you are in one of the many different areas here in Spain. But I'll talk about the Christmas in Madrid and what I have seen over the years of what Christmas is in this part of the world. Now Christmas normally starts to kick in in Spain around the beginning of December. That's when people start to get out their Christmas trees. It's when the Christmas markets start to pop up. It's when the Christmas lights start to be erected in the streets as well. It's also when the supermarkets start to put out all of their Christmas sweets, all of their Christmas products, and people start to get into Christmas spirit. Now at the beginning of December here in Spain, there's also a long weekend on the 6th and 8th of December, and that's when a lot of people People travel to different parts of Spain to see the different Christmas decorations that have been put up around the place. So here in Madrid, for example, a lot of people from other regions of Spain come to Madrid to check out the Christmas decorations and all of the things that are happening in the center of Madrid. And there are quite a few in the center and a few of the towns around Madrid now have special Christmas lights and special Christmas decorations at this time of the year. Now in this part of Spain, Christmas is celebrated on the 24th of December, Christmas Eve. That's when all of the families get together for a big feast. They normally go to their parents' house, their in-laws' house, and people really celebrate the 24th of December. That's the big night. It's a, it's a big dinner. It's a big feast. A lot of people like to get dressed up. They go around to a relative's house and they consume a massive feast, normally with lamb, with pork, fish maybe, seafood. It's a really elaborated meal and it's a really traditional thing. The 25th of December, which is the day that we would normally celebrate in Australia, that's when the families would come together in Australia, is more of a low key event. A lot of people still get together and they have a lunch. It can be a leftovers lunch, you know, things that were left over from the night before, or you might go to a different family member to celebrate. But the 25th seems to be a little bit less important than the 24th, because as I said, the 24th is when people really love to celebrate here. Now, one thing I will say about Christmas in Spain that it is really really long. It starts as I said around the 23rd 24th of December that's when people start to take their holidays and it goes all the way through until the 6th of January. There are a few important things in between as well so for example on 28th of December they have the Spanish equivalent of April Fool's Day where people play jokes on each other I think it's called Dia de los Santos Inocentes so that's on the 28th. Then on the 31st they celebrate what is known here as Noche Vieja or New Year's Eve. And that is also a big celebration. That's where families also come together and a big feast is also had. Again, lots of good food are on display for the 31st. Then when that normally finishes, when the dinner finishes around one or two o'clock in the morning, people go out, people go to a party, people go out to a nightclub, people go out somewhere in the city or the town or wherever they're living and they kick on until the wee hours of the morning. Sometimes six, seven, eight, nine, ten o'clock, you'll see people still celebrating New Year's Eve. And it is a big event. And there is a curious fact as well that on New Year's Eve, when the clock strikes 12, Spanish people consume grapes. I think they have 12 grapes. 12 grapes, is it, Dave? For each of the chimes of the clock, uh, counting down to 12 o'clock, they eat a grape and that is a traditional celebration here. Not sure why it started, but it is something that everybody seems to do, at least in this part of the world, and that is a popular tradition. And that then leads us into the 6th of January. Now the 6th of January here in Spain is one of the most important days of the Christmas period. They call it the Three Kings Day, or Reyes, the Three Wise Men. 
and it's historically the date when a lot of kids received gifts. Now this is also an important point because a lot of families now are deciding whether to give gifts on the 24th, maybe they give a few, or maybe they give them on the 6th of January. But a lot of kids prefer to get their gifts around the 24th because they have time to play before they go back to school. Because remember, kids normally go back to school around the 7th of January or the day after that Three Kings Day, or Three Magic Kings Day. And that is also a day when you're gonna see the Christmas pageants, you're gonna see the floats. The three wise men are often on floats and they throw uh, candies or lollies to the kids that are on the street and it is one of the most important days here. Now a lot of people are now complaining that Christmas is too commercial here in Spain like it is in a lot of other places around the world and people prefer to hold on to the to more of the traditional Spanish traditions at Christmas time and that is as I said mainly around the 6th of January when the gifts are given but of course commercial interests normally went out and a lot of people are also giving gifts around the 24th so it's a bit of a double gift time for kids and uh, young people here in Spain. So this, in case you're wondering, is the Spanish Lottery. And it is a huge event this time of the year. It's another Christmas tradition here in Spain. And there's millions and millions of euros up for grabs. And it's one of the biggest lotteries in the world for the total prize pool. And Spanish people, or a lot of Spanish people, I should say, go crazy buying tickets for this thing. And it's a televised event, as you can see. I'm watching it here on YouTube, but turn on the television and you'll also see this on the first channel or the second channel here in Spain. It's a huge event and it goes for hours. I don't know what time it started, but it's been on for about three or four hours now, and it is massive. I don't participate because it's one of these traditions that I can't get into. I don't normally play the lottery, and I'm not going to spend money at this time of the year on this thing either. But as I said, a lot of people spend a lot of money on the Christmas lottery. Just another one of the traditions here in Spain. So if I had one complaint about Christmas in this country, it would be that it is a little bit too long in my opinion. As I said, it goes on for a long time, starting around the 22nd, 23rd of December when that lottery takes place, and it goes all the way through until the 6th or the 7th of January. And then, of course, people don't have any money in January because they've spent it all on the Christmas period, and then we go into a thing which is called the Cuesta de Enero, which is like the steep hill that people have to go up in January in order to pay the bills and get things done because as I said they've spent all of their money at Christmas time buying fancy food, fancy gifts, going on holidays, doing the things that people do. And it's also a time where businesses really shut down over that Christmas period. I'd say that a lot of the businesses here in Madrid operated at about 60% over that Christmas period. A lot of people take holidays and it is difficult to get things done uh, over that Christmas period. So that's one of the negative things about Christmas in my opinion. It's a little bit too long, but hey, it is what it is. Now another thing I'll say here is that Christmas is a little bit more formal than it is in Australia. In Australia because it's summer obviously, people walk around in uh, shorts and t-shirts, summer dresses, and uh, it's a lot more uh, informal, let's say, a lot more casual. Here people like to dress up uh, Christmas time, 24th, uh, Noche Buena as they call it, people like to dress up. As I said, there's a big meal normally uh, on display. People have gone out of their way to buy the best food, the, uh, the best products for Christmas and uh, a lot more formal in that regard. And again, New Year's Eve is a lot more formal here. As I said, there's a dinner involved and uh, people normally go out after that. And they like to dress up as well for New Year's Eve, where a New Year's Eve in Australia is basically a party, get drunk, and if you're still around at 12 o'clock, fantastic. But here it goes all the way through the night and people like to uh, celebrate in a more formal way, let's say, or at least in my opinion. Now, one thing that is the same here in Spain as it is in Australia is that last minute rush to get Christmas gifts. And uh, it's my turn now to go and buy those last minute presents. So questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. If you've ever had a Christmas here in Spain, let me know what your impression of it was. I'll see you in the next video. Hasta luego, Feliz Navidad, and uh, see you later. Shelter from the storm. If the spirit of the sea